So we're converting uh, units of measurements. Uh, the one thing we tell them with these is that if you're going, they all know the hand signs, they should know the hand signs. You're going from small to big, you divide, and your hands go straight out. So small to big, you divide, then you can go from large to small, you multiply. So it's hand signals for the whole thing. So uh, small to big, arm straight across, divide, big to small, you multiply. And then you put your arms together as a multiply sign. So the first one, we're going from ounces, small to big, you divide. Small to big, you divide, hand straight across. So we're taking four divided by eight, and that equals one half. Both of those are divisible by four. Same thing, ounces divided by cups. I divided by eight because one is one cup equals eight ounces. So I'm doing my 12 ounces divided by one cup or eight ounces to see how many cups that is. And that's one. And then you have four left over. And then you can do that. You can simplify that to one half. Four goes into four one time. Eight divided by four is two. And then, so now we're going from big to small. So you multiply. So three, eight times three equals 24. Okay. Next, another thing they can do, some of them been uh, uh, another strategy is just writing that on paper, small to big equals divide, big to small equals multiplication. So some of them will write that at the top of the paper. Next, we have a group of students participating in a relay race to run funds for a charity. Each of the 30 kids runs three laps around a 400 meter track. Uh, how many kilometers did the group run? So the first is you need to figure out how much the group ran in meters, and then we'll change it to kilometers. So each of the 30 kids ran three laps. So let's figure out how many laps they ran all together. So we're gonna do 30 times three. So they ran 90 laps all together. So then we need to find out how many meters that is. So we're gonna take 400 times 90 and get 36,000. And that is meters. And then we had to, how many kilometers? So we're going, we need kilometers. So we're going from small to big so if we look up top, small to big divide. So we're gonna divide by a thousand. One, two, three. So it's 36 kilometers. Make sure we label that, 36 kilometers. Down here, which of the following is equivalent fractions to 160 centimeters? Uh, choose all that applies. So the first one, since there are some centimeters on here, I know that is correct, 160 centimeters, it's the same thing. So I can cross out this one, and that's it so far, so I'm gonna cross out D. Next, I'm gonna change centimeters to meters, so small to big, so small to big, we divide. So we're dividing by 100, 160 divided by 100, 1.6 meters small to big so that is f so my other meters is gone so next i'm looking at millimeters i have meters over here and i need millimeters so i have big so big to small, I'm going to multiply 1.6. I'm going to times that by a thousand. So, because I have meters by a thousand to get millimeters, one, two, three, and X minute zeros. And 
and that's millimeters. So that would be A. So this millimeters is gone. So next thing would be kilometers. So I already have my meters at 1.6 and I'm going to bigger. So small to big, I need to divide. I need to divide this by a thousand. So divide by a thousand, one, two, or 10, 100, thousand. So it'd be kilometers, label that, and that's not a good answer on here. So that would be all your answers. Okay. Next, Sarah has three and a half quarts is the same as 12 cups. Samuel says three and a half quarts is the same as 14 cups. Who is correct? So the one is the big one, obviously. And so it's small. So we are going from quarts, so big to small. So big to small, we multiply. Big to small, multiply. So we're gonna take four times our three and a half. So I'm gonna break this down into three and a half and I'm gonna multiply those both by four. Three times four is 12 and one half of four is two. And you add those together and you get 14. So Samuel is correct. Uh, if you work this out, some of the kids are actually doing it, which is fine. It's four over two and that equals two. So four divided by two is two. So uh, if they didn't know one half of four, sometimes if I say what's one half times four, they might not get it, but I say what is one half of four and then they will get it. So it's another way to do that. And 14, make sure I label this cups next uh, we have a mural the height of the mural is 220 centimeters what is the height in meters so we have centimeters we have the small one the big one always is going to have the one so we're going from small to big we divide so we have 220 we're going to divide by 100 divide by 10 divide by 100 so it's 2.2 .2 meters. So we're gonna divide that by 100. And when you divide by 100, same thing as boom in your decimal place, two times. The next one is the mural is meters wide. So we have big and we're going to small. So big to small, you multiply. So 3.4 and we're gonna times that by 100. Same thing as moving your decimal point two times. So it's gonna be 340 centimeters. Next, ounces of clay to make clay pots. We used 124 ounces. Ounces is up here. Ounces is the small one. Pounds is the big. So we're going from small to big, divide. Remember the arms, small, big, arms straight out, divide. So we're gonna take 124 ounces divided by the 16. And then uh, we can just guess uh, and work some out over here. Seven times six is 42, carry my four. And so I have, you can work that out over here if you need to. And then you subtract. Whoops, I said 42 and I wrote down four. Seven times six is 42, carry my one, seven plus 11, or seven plus four is 11, 112. So you subtract and you get 12. 
So my remainder, some people will get this right and then they don't know what to do here. So I have 12 left and I divide it out of 16 parts. So that would be my answer. That is correct, but let's reduce that because four goes into both of these. So it's gonna be divide both by four and you get seven and three fourths pounds of clay. Seven and three fourths. Whoa. Okay, sorry, didn't have the camera. So we did 124 divided by 16. 16 times seven is 112. I subtracted those since I took those seven groups of 12, or seven groups of 16 out and I had 12 left. So I put my 12 over my 16. And then I reduced it. I divided by top by four and bottom by four and I got seven and three fourths pounds. Next, we have centimeters to meters. So centimeters, oh, we're taking, we're starting with meters. Sorry, we're starting with big and we're going to small. So big, big to small, we multiply. Big to small, we multiply. So 18 times 100. So you're gonna move the decimal place over two times. Okay. Next, we have yards to feet. Whoops, I didn't label. Next, we have inches to eight yards. So, uh, we have inches, feet, yards. This is a two-stepper. So we have eight yards. I need to get that to feet. So yards to feet. So big to small, I multiply. So I need to multiply that by three. And then I'm gonna have feet. So I have 24 feet and eight yards. And then I need to get that to inches. So I multiplied and multiply. So big to small, then big to small again. So 24 times 12. is 288 inches would be your final answer. 288 inches. Sorry, I ran out of room down there. So we started with yards. We had to get to feet, multiply it by three. We got 24, then 24 times 12 inches in a foot, and we got 288 inches. Next, we have ribbon to make necklaces. He has a six yards, but we need another one. We're using, we're dividing, we need inches, where's what we're cutting off. So once again, we have inches, feet, and yards. So I'm gonna do six times my three to give me six times three. So I have 18 feet. And then I'm gonna times that by 12 to get inches again. And... So we have 216 inches total. And I'm gonna divide that it's because I'm gonna use a necklace. So every 18 inches equals one necklace. So I need to divide that number by 18. So I'm just gonna start out with 10 groups. So I'm left with 36 inches, and I know I can make two. I know 18 times two is 36. So I have nothing left. So I make 12 necklaces. Okay. How many milliliters are equivalent to liters? 
uh, down here it tells me milliliters, liters. So I'm going from big to small, big to small. I need to multiply by a thousand. So move the decimal place over. One, two, three. And you get 9,700. And those are milliliters. Next, Scuba Steve, 55 paper, fills 55 paper cups of Gatorade. Each holds 200 milliliters of lemonade. How many liters of Gatorade does Scuba Steve use? Um, let's figure out how many total milliliters he uses first. So we're gonna use 55 times 200 to get the total number of milliliters used. So multiply that out. So we used 11,000 milliliters. And we're going from small to big. So we divide, small to big, we divide. We divide by 1,000. And that would give me 11 liters. Now, last one. Gusta sells two different sizes pretzels. They have an 8-ounce pretzel and a 4-pound pretzel on Friday. The store sold 60 of each pretzel. How many pounds of each pretzel did the store sell on Friday? Show your work. Uh, it says how many pounds. So uh, I thought it was easier to change them to ounces first and then do it from there. So I'm gonna do ounces. Uh, so I'm gonna do 60 times my eight ounces. So I have 48 or 480 ounces of the uh, eight ounces. And then this one, I have a fourth of a pound. So a 16 ounces in one pound. So I'm gonna do 16 divided by four. So that's four ounces. And I can do 60, cause I sold 60 of those. Uh, so then I'm gonna add those together, both ounces. And so I have 720 ounces together. Now I'm gonna divide that by 16 because that was total ounces. This is the uh, eight ounce pretzels and this is the one fourth, uh, one fourth of a pound, which I changed the ounces. So 720 and divide that by 16. And I'm going to do uh, 41st. Let's do... Uh, 16 times four is 64. Then subtract. And then uh, 16 divided by 80. Five times six is 30. So I have 45 pounds. No, pounds, yes, pounds. That's how many they sold. So the other way you can do it uh, is we know that if, uh, since we're already using pounds, eight ounces is a half of a pound. So, a half a pound, so six or eight ounce, and they sold 60 of those, 60 and a half would be 30 pounds. And then a fourth, so a fourth of a pound, was a fourth of 16 is 15. So you have 45 pounds. Uh, so if you want to work, uh, let's see if I can 
do that for you. So eight ounces is a half. One half times 60 equals 30. And then one fourth times 60 equals 15. Uh, I didn't do it that way. A different student did it that way and showed me that way. Uh, yeah, you can do it that way. So that way also works. Or you can change it to ounces and then pounds. So this way might be easier. She really understands fractions and how they worked. Uh, so that's also a way to do it. Great job. So either way works. Whatever way works best for you. Good luck. Like my video. Subscribe for instant updates.